In this episode, we're going to talk about old school. Back in the day, school, youth club, childhood, just fun stuff, memories that we had. Stay tuned. Yo, 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 yo. It's your boy Tezza T. We back again. We back in the building. We're going to mix up again today, you know. Only a few of us here today, so we're going to talk about some old school. Yeah. We're going to bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just going to talk about some old school school stuff. Like, you know, jokes, things we used to do when we were younger. Um, my brother, Elijah yeah, Ezra yeah, Ture. Yeah, 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 I'm in the house. What's up? He's in the house. You good? So I want to talk about, yeah, because the school, do you know what I want to talk about this? School uniforms. Like, from a dad's perspective, I was thinking, boy, school's back. I had to buy a pair of trainers for my boy. What do you think you want? Air Force Ones. Air Force Ones. <laughs> <laughs> All I want Air Force Ones now. No school shoes, no hash puppies, no nope. kickers, nothing like that. US Bros. US Bros. <laughs> do you want know US Bros? They're bad. I actually thought that was a good brand when I was in school. I didn't know it was crap. <laughs> the thing is, though, like, <laughs> we can wear trainers at school, could we? Like nah. people, if you were trainers, that's nah. because you are either broke and yeah. you could afford shoes, or you just wanted to be one day. You had to have a note to have trainers. A note, yeah. Or yeah. you just wanted to show off and do pair trainers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like I remember when I came, remember when I came to school, they Jordans. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, you were for eight as well, didn't you? Didn't they have like um, a tag? Not a tag. They had like a key ring or something on. Yep. Didn't they? So I remember just hearing it. And I just, and I, and I, mine was just the fact that I got a new pair of trainers and I thought, yeah, man, let's just, let's just show them off. Stunt you know what I mean? Yeah, stunt, yeah. Let's stunt on people. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Um, but Air Force Ones, they're £110. Pound. £120 now. Oh. Yeah, £120. That's what I'm saying. So I'm like, back to school is is killing people out here now. What's up, man? Let's talk about going yeah. back. I'm saying school shoes and all that. It's school expensive. Shoes. Yeah. 120 And when yeah. I first bought them, they were £50, £45 Air Force Ones? Yeah, yeah. They just well, exploited the whole thing. Yeah. 120 Yeah. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> £120. And for me, I'm thinking... Jeez. When your kids are the age in high school, they're not going to stay that size for the whole school year, no, are they? exactly. So that's two pairs of Air Force for the year. Yep. And, you know, if they play football up in them tings in there, stuff like that, they'll be a cup. Because you know they're going to do it. Yeah. This, more, right. this year, more than ever, I felt it more. And yeah. it just made me, I was having a conversation with Isaiah saying, these are 120. He's like, oh, yeah, it's expensive, man. I'm sorry. Like, what can I do? Because <laughs> <So, laughs> <yeah, laughs> like, everyone wears them, innit? Yeah, like, of course. I was, course. I was trying to say, look, like, yeah. when we was at school, like, yeah. I didn't think of the US brass, but we used to have just no-name school shoes yeah. that our parents, and we looked after them, we shined them. He's yeah. never going to shine them shoes. Nah. Never going to wash I them. The days, nah, I miss the days when your kid's are little and you can go to Asda, George, you get the bulk of the And your kids are wearing because they had no idea about fashion. Oi, They had no idea about fashion, I'm still trying to do that. <laughs> with Maya yeah well you can't cut you yeah, yeah. but I remember my That's parents taking me in town yeah? yeah and um one of my parents my own grandparents so uh, take me in town hmm. and I remember we supposed to go to that, remember that, um, that school shop like near where the market is down like the other end of town what was and that called like, like called shoe. shoe zone or something shoe yeah. zone it's <laughs> <laughs> going there and then you go and get some dead shoes and you know the shoes are dead <laughs> and you're thinking oh I gotta wear these and then you go and then you go next door and there's a place you can get the school shirts and that from there P- and, PGM, so and, yeah, and um, yeah. the trousers yeah. but yeah. you know the trousers they weren't yeah. like Nice trousers. They're the ones. If you iron them, they got shiny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because if you iron them, nice on them. They got shiny. <laughs> they got them from there. They got them from there. I got mine from the market. I've got mine from the market. But I remember they were shy, that shy. They were shy. They were like, I like the shy. They were tough. They were tough. I love the shy, though. I like the shy, though. But, well, no, no, they were tough, man. They were, they were just tough on your legs and that, man. You were just like, nah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 nah, that's what you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, them days, boy. Yeah. Trust. Yeah. But at least you got shoes on your shoes. I got market <laughs> shoes. That's what I got. Market shoes. Market shoes, market trousers, market shirts. Yeah, to be fair, I yeah, it was what it was. <laughs> <about trying>. <laughs> That's it done it purpose. I remember I did, I did get a few stuff on the market. There used, yeah. to, be, there used to be an Asian dude, didn't it? He's yeah. doing about yeah, that yeah, store. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's doing about that store. I thought the market was good. Yeah. The market was good. I yeah. wanted to get my stuff in the market because yeah. I see people getting from, I thought that's the place to be, especially where a spliffy and that came out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Of course, of course. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. But <laughs> that is expensive. And like, even now, like, you know, you could get a pair of trousers, a shirt, put your kids in like a black jumper because obviously we wore black. 
Trumpets and hoodie ones, it something like that. Yeah. But now you got to buy blazers, you got to buy tyres, yeah. you got to buy. And no, it has to you be got, a school you got emblem sep- as well. You got separate it? stuff for like yeah. PE, yeah. separate stuff for different sports, yeah. Yeah. Hoodies. hoodies, yeah, rugby shirt, football shirt. It's big business. It's, now. it's big business now. It's right. massive. Yeah. Our uniform, what was it? Because we went, you went. What was the Copperson uniform when you went? We had like a maroon jumper, yeah. with um, I think it was like a baby blue emblem, mm. Copperson, and then the maroon and um, maroon and baby blue tie. You had and, a tie? Yeah, we had a tie as well, yeah. Tie and shirt. Oh. And then whatever trousers we wanted and just school shoes. By that time, that's when kickers started kicking up. So that was me, kickers. Yeah. Yeah. I think our school knew, because Cobbleson's obviously in a more privileged, not a privileged area, but a up more yeah, was, market was area the, yeah. than Holywell's. Yeah. And with ours, I think they knew, and I think they'd done things proper back then. Holywell, yeah. not proper, but they respected where we were from. So yep. we just had to wear any white shirt, no yep. no yep. logo, yep. nothing. Okay. Any black trousers, any black shoes. That was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, only one yeah. shirt, didn't you? Yeah, with yeah. a little H on it, a little figure. The there. jumper. I was yeah. so, I remember, bro, I was so broke, I couldn't afford one. Yeah. I wore my Iswish Lion shirt. Maybe your dad got us the ones with our initials on it. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just bad at school. <laughs> and I had a black shirt and I had green TH on it. Iswish Lion. That's why I wore my shirt. That's why I wore to school. Iswish Lion's jumper. Then we put first pass. You know, you look at the old fit photo from the bagel shop. And I think Seth's got one on with the picture. Yeah. And as an old, it's literally the, like cheap, obviously like black jumper, yeah. Yeah. and you got like initials embroidered on it. Yeah. So when I wore a score for I was bad. Like, I had a th on there. Yeah. Well, that's because I was broke. I could afford a jumper. Yeah. <laughs> I could afford a thing. jumper, man. Yeah. Even PE. Because yeah. to a point, yeah, yeah. like you have to wear what polo shirt. Yeah, bro, I had to wear the same polo shirt I wore during school. Um, <laughs> you wear for me, bro. You take off your jumper yeah. and wear it underneath. Sweating up the same shirt and that, bro. You like, weren't allowed in oh, I remember you weren't allowed to wear brands, were you? Nah. You weren't allowed to wear brand shorts nope. or yeah. brand t-shirts yep. in yeah. our school. Because they knew that would start that, yep. that bad, what's happening those fake umbra yeah. shorts what look like with the lion. Yeah, with the lion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's shiny what I had. Shiny. I had a shiny, shiny maroon yeah, colour. fake ones there, man. I think um, we did... So I think from the from year eight onwards, we had to wear the polo shirt with the coppers and um, emblem on it. But yeah. Other than that, we didn't have to. The money you spend on school uniforms is like the money you spend for their birthday, yeah. if not more. Yeah, yeah. And then if you've got more than one kid, that's mm. a lot of money. You know? That's a lot of money. That's a lot yes. of money because you know, average people have, what, two, three kids? Yeah. Average, you know, household? Yeah. yeah. So if you're spending two, three hundred quid per, per one child, yeah. mm-hmm. which... Boy, and you that's in you, September. Yeah, that's September. You're topping that up. You're yeah. topping it up. A couple of times. Yeah. And you know how they grow quick. Yeah. So a couple hundred pounds, that's 600 pounds. Mm-hmm. But you know you spend at least three, four hundred because your Air Force Ones are 120. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So two pairs of that, yeah. that's 240. So, so you've got to start running the hand-me-down um, procedure. That's, that's what's going to happen, isn't if it? I, if yeah. I, was, I had a younger brother or whatever, I'd be yeah. holding on yeah, to yeah, that. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Facebook Marketplace, we get rid of stuff on there. So yeah. like we're selling some of the old stuff on there for like five pound, three pound jumpers yeah. and that. Yeah, yeah, someone's okay. going to take it. Yeah, I, do, I do see it quite a lot. A lot. It's a lot of paper. I think there's like a page where people go, oh, is anyone... Uh, like, or say the kids have left school or something like that and they go I've got loads of Holy Wells like or oh, Eastwood Academy or whatever I've got yeah. loads of their blazers and, and um, polo shirts and ties and that mm-hmm. do you want them and stuff like that and like even like even people are doing it now with like um, like revision guides and stuff like that yeah, and yeah. stuff people okay. are putting that out there because right now we're the, t- we're, the t- we're the time where people tight, need help we're yeah. in the tight spot we're in the tight I said spot. to Lee yeah. let me just buy his stuff on there yeah. She's like, nah, she's happy to sell it on there, but not buy it. Buy it, buy it. Buy it. Buy it. <laughs> this boy's going to wear this jumper for for three months max. He's right. never wearing that anymore. He's jumping, yeah. coming out of that. And yeah. the kids yeah. that he got it off yeah. would have probably worn it because then kids grow quicker at age. Yeah. They're not yeah, wearing yeah. that for more yeah. than three, four and you, months. And that makes sense. But it's yeah. all status, isn't it? A lot of it as well. A lot of it's status. Like the traders team. It's all the status. It's all the status. It's all the status. It is a status thing. Honestly, do you think we as humans have problems of letting that shit go? It's just, we have to have certain things and I think well who are you proving it to at the end of the day yeah you know, it's, it's not it's always been how society is I'd hand me downs yeah. I'd hand me downs from my, Vanel, yeah. my cousin yeah. I used to, his mum used to come drop the clothes off to me and he's not even that much bigger than me <laughs> 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 the first time they to me they're probably not even the right size right, anyway sorry. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, I think hand-me-downs was a regular thing for us as kids. Oh, yeah, of course. Bro, I, of course. I went to school with a hell of baggy stuff sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? When your trousers are too long and they're dragging on the back of the floor. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, was, it was what it was. You couldn't complain. I hear that. You couldn't complain. You had to just roll, roll with it. Yeah. I remember um, going to um, play for football trials. Um, I think this is in my... I think it was um, when I was 10 years old and we going to trial out for the football team and he just gave me his hand-me-down Liverpool kit yeah. and I was like yes nice kit I'm all looking forward to this and it was um, what was it what was before Carlsberg it was Candy, candy wasn't it? Candy, candy. Oh, yeah, yeah. but it was before Candy 
whatever what, crown paints crown paints crown paints it was right so I've gone with the kit crown paints thinking yeah I'm bad next thing I was seeing a couple of boys in the in the candy top I'm thinking well, what's going on here then why, why have I got crown paints you got candy nah yours is fake Liverpool man oh. No, nah, actually Ray yours is your few seasons behind I was like what oh. and was the, thing, the thing is the kit fit perfectly as well oh, oh nice and yeah it was what it was but yeah. I don't know man but I still made the team anyway them boys didn't make it, so it was what it was yeah, yeah I had some dead stuff I don't know man like a couple of jackets probably a pair of football boots are the worst Two big tight bus up holes in them. They were yeah. golas as well. Golas. What brand is this no, like, anymore? I, like I don't. I probably, probably <laughs> don't. <laughs> <laughs> they were beat up. Man. They were beat up. You know the ones who were like, you, they, they were just so long, like a clown foot. Oh, and then, you know when the laces are so tight, so tight. Oh, oh, so yeah. tight, yeah. so tight. Yeah. You can't yeah. even get them out. And laces back then weren't like how you get laces in trains nah, nowadays. They were like little skin thin ones, like you get in pair of shoes. How were the studs? Oh, the studs mash up. You know, you know the ones where like one studs longer than the other. So I had like, I had like, I had like probably like a rugby stud in there. A couple of things, one stud missing. All the things there. I was like, but you know what? I couldn't afford a pair of football boots, so it's like. If you want to play football, you got to wear them. You got to wear them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But that is, yeah. that is what it was, man. But yeah. yeah. That was jokes. But I don't want to look back. When you look back at it now, you kind of laugh, don't you? You kind of yeah. laugh. Yeah, man. of course. You got to laugh, man. Like, of course. And then I think towards the end of school, yeah. like what well, I, I did anyway, you sort of stepped up a bit and, and then you start getting like, better stuff. And then you start seeing them people with the Brock stuff and you're thinking, boy. Oh, you, see them, <laughs> like, you laugh at them, but you was there, man. You was there. <laughs> Your peak came then. My peak yeah. didn't, of oh, my peak. I, my level didn't come in high school for that. Yeah, I didn't get yeah. to that point where I had the money for that in high school, yeah. man. So I never really See, had it. mine was um, because obviously we, we were still going to Coconut Club at high school. So that's where my peak came in because oh, yeah. I was earning my paper round money. Yes. And every week me and Ash was going to J, JD, no, JJB's. JJB's. Up yeah, um, JJB. Rant, Rural Park. Nah, it weren't JJB's. JJB's. It weren't sports JJB's. Sports Direct. Sports, sports Division. Sports Division. Sports Division. Sports Division. Sports Division. Sports Division. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. One, one I thought it was JJB before Sports Division. After yeah. sports division first, yeah. was it? Yeah, yeah. yeah it was. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, okay. two, then one in town yeah. and one up there. Yeah. Scene, yeah, yeah. yeah. whatever yeah. that was. That's Bad. where I was. Going and I had and... all sports as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's true. And that's yeah. when I was getting my Kappa track suits, yes. my Mizuno. Yes. Kappa was the one. Yeah. Yeah. Kappa was the one. <laughs> the Cox Sportif as well. The Cox Sportif was <laughs> bad. Oh, but I had the baddest track Serge suit. Serge Tashidi. Yeah, 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 bad. yeah, yeah. Bad. Yeah. See, so they were the times. Yeah. Mizuno is a brand that I could afford. I remember I still. <laughs> yeah. I look back at some pictures of Eli, boy. And there's one top there. Yeah, I just <laughs> like Mizuno top with a green Mizuno logo. Yeah. And I wear a red shirt underneath it. <laughs> with like a checkered shirt, red and green. That's what you thinking. I've done that before when I think it was when we was going to Attic one night and um, there's a night on an Attic and I just got my brand new Reebok tracksuit. It was a blue and um, blue and like a cream Reebok tracksuit. Yeah. And then I had a Sergio Tashidi um, polo shirt and it was red <laughs> and I had to cobble up like this. Up. And I was like, what am I doing, man? The colours don't even go. <laughs> but, you know, by that time I thought it was gone. Yeah. I think the stages of fashion and for me it was like, I've got a brand, I've got yeah. a brand name on. So yeah. it don't matter what I'm wearing with it, yeah. it's a brand. So then I'll yeah. match it with anything because yeah. the brand was, yeah. I didn't know what I was doing. Man. Yeah, we didn't colour code back then like that. Nah. No. You didn't colour code back then. You just, yeah. you, you just, you just wild. Just went by the, no, I guess I just name, name exactly, just the name. And it was in school, yeah. it was coats and everyone had like the night, you remember the yeah. night coat with like the kind circle of circle of back. Circle yeah, circle of back. Yeah, so it was like, yeah, yeah. It was like a silver one, it was a blue one, were it was different colours, a green one, they were black one. I had a black one, I love my black one as well. I yeah, remember my, I had, I didn't have that. Remember I had the Adidas ones as well? One. Puffer coats and the girls to wear shiny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember <laughs> I had an Adidas, white, Adidas coat in school, yeah? And I yeah. think I ripped the pocket right. and I went home and the parents were like, well, we ain't getting you another one. So every day in school, what I used to do, put my hand in the pocket, put my hand in this pocket <laughs> and roll it up and go like that. I'm so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I would take my hand out of my pocket for the whole, <laughs> you don't even know, I had one big toe in that boy. Yeah, puffers, puffers were bad back in the day, Pulses, man. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know the puffer, or the puffer, the one puff, the one person who reminds me, what I'm thinking of puffer reminds me, yeah. It was Matty Collin and Remember he had the yeah. yellow one. Yes. Yes. That yellow one. Yeah. Bad yeah. Michigan. That was Michigan. Yeah. Michigan. Yeah. Michigan. Bad boy jacket, I had, um, man. Big I up had, Mr. C for that. Yeah, I bad had a Michigan jacket. one as well, which was blue and blue. yellow. Blue. And mine yeah. was reversible. Yeah. 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 I love that jacket. Yeah. I remember yeah. that you can yeah. remember yeah. everyone's clothes. Yeah, yeah. 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 I remember that, bro. I remember that jacket. I remember that. I even remember him, like, when he performed one time, he's MC, like, Coconut Comics on stage, he had that jacket on. I thought, yeah, man, that jacket's cold. I always wanted him that long, man. Titus had a Haley Hansen one. Do you remember that one? Yeah. Yeah. Yellow kind of one. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I had a nice Haley one. And I had a yeah. uh, Berghouse one as well. Mm. That is bad. Yeah. I didn't have any of them kind of yeah, Michigan jackets. was my level, mate. I had a few yeah, I had a Nike one. Yeah, quite a few of them. Yeah. Hayley Hansen and... But I remember like yeah. back in the day, that's Hayley Hansen and Berghouse because they're very expensive, man. Yeah.
like near White Horse Hotel or something like that in town. Oh, I know what you're talking. And there's a bit of ski yeah. shop there. Bare expensive jackets in there. Yeah, I know you talk. I can't remember the name of the shop now, but bad, yeah, there's some bad jackets in there, and that's where like, yeah. people used to wear um, like Oakley glasses and that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid Oakley glasses. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
ready or great at that sort of thing, or you just don't want to learn, most kids will get A to C grades. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I've seen some people and I think, boy, and they've retrieved some mad grades. And I think, well, how do they achieve 10 grades? And I've seen people who you think are intelligent. Should be, yeah, but yeah. You know what I mean? It's just yeah. because they thought they were too intelligent. But you can put, I, I think you can put too much pressure on your kids. I might yeah. be guilty yeah. of that. Like I do a lot yeah, of that. Yeah. Yeah. And I might ease off. I might not ease off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> However, there's, I think I've seen this year in the summer, people doing the opposite. I ain't going to say no names and I, I'm yeah. not judging anyone, but yeah. I just think about the, what I would do. Yeah. And people are like, X is doing their great, their exams today or they're getting the results today. Whatever you get, it's fine with me. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know it. Yeah, should have been fine with me too. Yeah. I'm never telling my kid that. Yeah, yeah. They, they already know that I love them forever, but yeah. but I ain't telling them yeah. like yeah. whatever you whatever you get is fine with me. I don't, yeah. I don't know not, if that's the that's right not message. That's not a right message. That's not a right message. That's five years the, of the your pe- life. The people pe- who pe- say that don't put no results up. They put no results up because I know the results are whack, man. You know. Yeah, put up no ones and two. Stop, <laughs> stop lying to yourself. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Stop lying He's to yourself. Because you know. I, 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 I saw bare people status yeah, yeah, yeah. and the ones who were happy were like, yeah, well done. So I so got four A's, two A's, <laughs> and then all the other ones are like, oh, I'm proud of you. You done so well. <laughs> you done so well. And I'm thinking, what's this crazy <laughs> up in here, man? I'm looking, I'm looking at the grades. Because listen, yeah. when my boy got all these A's and A stars and that, yeah, yeah. and what his grades, I posted that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I posted yeah, that shit. I keep sharing that shit for the week. For the whole week, bro. My yeah. kids got some good yeah. grades up in here. You know what I mean? So if your kids yeah. done so well, you're proud about what you got. Yeah. Post that shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And if your kid didn't do yeah. well, just, yeah. just don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. You don't have to say nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Right, but exactly. they jump on the bandwagon because they keep seeing everyone going, oh, well yeah. done, my son got exams. Just, just about what you do, I still love you. Mm. Your kid knows you love him, man, but he's telling yeah. that because, do you know what I mean? The kids want to think, nah, I got to open this. I got to open this up. I got to open this up. I'm just do like, you know what? It's like they said that. I can't remember seeing you on the day when we got our grades. You weren't there, were you? I didn't turn up that day. No, I didn't. I did, I did, I did, I did, I did. Okay, Molly. He left you joke. He left trying to rack his brain down. I did, I did, I did. Okay, Molly, okay, Molly, I did. I remember seeing Ashwell get his Yeah. You're cold, bro. You're cold. You didn't come on Molly. He likes cold. Poor Ash, bro. I got on Molly, I got on Molly. I just think teachers, that must be their their moment, you know? Like, as a teacher, you don't have your favourites, but there are students you think, you're going to mess up. Like, I do that now. I think, you wait, do you know what I mean? But I never get to see the grades because it's not like Yeah, of course. But at school, there must be people, that there must look at people like you and certain other people think, I can't wait to see what kids go. Let's see Just go learn, you can't behave that way and still do well. And then you just sit and watch her because they know what you've got. But then, like, the thing is as well, like, I always knew, like, I'm clever anyway. So yeah. I never ever worried about stuff like that. And I always thought yeah. if I didn't, you know what I mean? I didn't do, I didn't do bad, but I didn't do great. But like, I always thought to myself, I was so, like, I knew I was intelligent in it. So I always knew no matter what, I was going to make something of my life. Whether, whether I went down the wrong road or whatever I'd done, yeah. I always thought, because I was one of the people they said, yeah, you got to know, you know, I thought, in my head I was thinking, fuck you. I, yeah. so I, was, I, was, I was thought that, so I'm I thought, I thought no matter what, yeah. I'll do something. Yeah. Yeah. You had that confidence instilled in you. Yeah. 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 yeah, from home and whatnot. Yeah. But yeah, and that's what some kids behave bad, yeah. <laughs> miss out of school, they're school, not very smart, and ain't got the confidence. And yeah. they're the ones yeah. you got to watch. I just always yeah, knew. I just knew. 100%. I just knew. Yeah. And the thing is, I didn't even know what I was going to do. But, you knew but you I always sound. knew that I'd be successful. Yeah. If it was a successful drug dealer. I knew yeah. I was going to be. I knew, I knew, but you know what I mean? Or I was a pimp or something. I knew I, I knew I'd go make money. <laughs> you know what I mean? I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. I did and, I just, and I was just. So, so I never really worried about that kind of thing. Like, and even like, and it, but things are, I wanted to do something. Like I remember, but then we used to go to careers. Like, like you went down to the careers office. What did they tell you? They didn't tell me nothing. Did they, mm. did you have a career? They tell me nothing. Yeah, we did. They tell me nothing. But like, what's good, like catering, that's all I've got to do, again. catering. And yeah. I, done, I could make, kind of done it, because we went to work at the Courtyard Hotel and married up there. And I thought, yeah, let me do catering thing. And it's like, you got to work 14 hours a day and uh, five too. days a week for like 30 pounds. And I just thought, <laughs> Same. I don't want to do this thing here, man. Yeah, do you I'm, know what I mean? I and I really enjoy cooking back then, man. I love food tech, bro. I love food tech. That's my, that's that's my favourite just, subject, man. I don't want to go travelling the world on like cruise ships and that and being yeah. a top chef and yeah. that. That was and the that same with me, me man. But my, me like, up, my dad man. said, you're not going to like it because it's unsociable hours. You're a sociable guy, so you won't be able to see your friends a lot. Mm-hmm. And I was like, whatever, man. And then like, I went to college and then um, I went well a trial day at college and then they asked to cut up a chicken a certain way and I was like, 
Yeah, mm-hmm. I know about this. Yeah. I'm going into IT. And <laughs> so I never looked back yeah. since. So we're talking about old school, back in the day. Before we finish, before we wrap up, give us one moment or one funny thing that you can never forget, that you can't let go. Like someone where you can remember from back in the day that just got you jokes. Do you know what I mean? Where, where it can be something funny, it can be something somebody said. Yep. Oh, I can start that off. Go on, when, right. um, so <laughs> it was coming to, so I was going to school the next day and this is when I had my plaits. <sighs> I remember my mum was vexed for whatever reason it was. And she was like, come here, I need to do your hair. It's like, ah, cool. But I see the tone. I'm like, this is not going to be a fun, fun ride for me at all. So then she started combing out my hair. And when I said she was yanking the hair, because my hair was dry, I was yanking the hair. I just felt the tears coming to my eyes and my head just going back like this. And the dean was just in the corner laughing her head off. And boy, I just remember that whole experience was just not nice at all. Hair got, the comb got dashed on my head piece as well because I couldn't keep my head straight. What did you do? Just, I didn't do nothing. This is what mm. I mean. I don't know. I think that must have put her in a bad mood. I don't know what happened, but she was not in, She was not happy. That's all I remember that. And that boy. And I remember just seeing the comb and just seeing like the tri piece of hair, just like a big <laughs> cluster of hair on the comb. And I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that was, that was mine. It's that mad how certain just, things stick with you, isn't it? Yeah, of course. That's never going to leave me. That's why, I'm, that's why I've prob- probably been afraid to get plaques again. When I see Ash getting plaques, I'm like, I don't know if I'm right, you know, but I ain't never getting them again. Never. Yeah. E? Yeah. Um, well, it's not so funny, but it is funny that we look back on it and we've spoken about it, but it's PE and Mr. Webb. We used to have this teacher called Mr. Webb yeah. and right. he used to, like, you look back now, he'd be cancelled because he used yeah. to make us get in the shower naked. Oh, okay. He said, in the stuff. shower, for oh, half an, an hour. hour. And he used to walk around with his hand, half an hour attention. Yeah. Oh, he'd walk shit. around with his hands behind his back and he's like yeah. whistling in his mouth, or whistling, yeah. sorry. Yeah. And he'd look up and down as you're in the shower and walk all around. Nah, and then t Roy was the first man <laughs> to stand up and say, after... Well, Keep in mind, we've all been doing it, naked in the shower. Yeah. I, it's year seven, I'm not thinking that. And then one day, yeah. T-Roy stood up for us, boy. <laughs> <laughs> he literally stood up and went, I ain't doing this, that's nasty, I ain't getting in the shower. And then everyone else was like, yeah. And I thought, like, yes, this is not right. Yeah. And I remember that. And then he, and what got me is that he oh, didn't challenge yeah. T-Roy. He okay. didn't say like, yeah. Because if he'd have said T-Roy, you're in trouble, yeah. I'd have been like, oh shit, I'm still going on. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, he but did he it because he knew he was wrong. He knew he was wrong, yeah, and yeah, yeah, we yeah. had to have one person, and yeah. that's probably the first person all that time stood up yeah. to him. Yeah. And after that, word got round and everyone was wearing shorts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Oh, we Come here, we're playing. Yeah. We're playing, brother. Yeah. Yeah. But you need some people like that. Do you know what I mean? We mess around here. If we had T-Roy, who knows what happened to us? Mr. Webb would have probably got us one time. Because he did. He was like, honestly, he was bad, man. He was bad. T-Roy saved us, bro. You yeah. probably saved the whole generation. <laughs> <laughs> so that's yeah. my memory. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I think um, when we used to sort of like bunk off, like sometimes we'd go to, like, we'd go to certain people's houses and then yeah. and yes. bunk off. Yeah, man. <laughs> 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 and that, that sort of stuff. I remember we used to teach the drink and that I feel like we're water yeah. and stuff. Yeah. And things like that. Yeah. That was quite a joke. Well, yeah. alcohol drink. Yeah. Oh, vodka. Yeah. Yeah. Vodka and that. And, drink up and, that. and we like, always, what? and then Mr. and that would come up and yeah. that and uh, landers and that would come up from there and we'd all meet up yeah. and we'd think yeah, back then I was going out with a girl oh well I was going out with a girl then mm. but then like during that time as well I was going out with a girl and she drove and she picked us up for school member yes <laughs> I thought it was bad that <laughs> <laughs> I was going to go she's older than me man yeah. she would pick us up at lunch time and think like that yeah. and we'll go for drives and that and bro and it was just like it was just jokes like just literally like little year 11 and that yeah. and, you, and you're driving around you get on driving picking up <laughs> and, just, and yeah, I just yeah. So that sort of stuff. Where we used to just bunk off and just do stupid stuff. Yeah. And like, yeah, but I weren't never like extra. Your parents would find out because we used to do it like we'll go off for break times or yeah, yeah. Because you like back then you could leave school. You can't leave school. Can't you? You can't go home. Nah, nothing like what? that. You lock the inmate. Can't go nowhere. Why? Nah, home can, I, was... To be fair, I can understand oh, why because. because it's a different world now, yeah, and like you know, got pedos everywhere. Yeah, we used to go, yeah, go across the road to Chichester, didn't we? And stuff. Yeah. But home dinner and was and something that you could. It's cheaper home cheaper. dinner. Yeah. You yeah. go have yesterday's dinner yeah, or, yes. or a little yeah. something. Yeah. You don't yeah. spend money. Yeah, don't do that yeah. anymore. But yeah, that's, that's that's my thing. I think yeah. just little things like that, man. Like yeah. I sit back and reminisce. And we about to say that you kids been coming home from school, from school for lunch nah, every day. If I could, they would. Save my money. Exactly. Listen, I got a big class, man. Yeah. Stock on pea noodles. Yeah. Pure bees on toast and that. Yeah. Cereal. It's not a joke, man. I'm freezing my bread and stuff nowadays. Yeah. 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 Take a cold bit out of toast. Yeah. 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 
me. Yeah. Which, you know what I mean? Yeah. Boy, toys are hard right now, yeah, man. Nah, Stop freezing that, milk man. and all sorts. Yeah, so my dad done yeah. refreeze yeah. milk and everything, well, everything man. man. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. But yeah. there you go, guys. Yeah, make sure you catch us on where the key's at. Yeah. Make sure you subscribe. Share the whole podcast out to everyone. I've been speaking to some people, right? Surprising people ain't subscribed, so it's free. It doesn't cost anything. Just hit yeah, subscribe, yeah. share it around. Yeah. Make sure you stay in touch. Check us out on TikTok. Check us out on Twitter. Mm. Check us out on Facebook as well, and just share it. Yeah. Like, share. Yeah. Subscribe. Peace. Peace.